Hi everybody, it's John Galante, president of AE Ventures. I am here with Derek Coburn with Lumen Cash, who is a first time sponsor here at the Tech Home Builder and Housing Transformation Summit with a brand new product called Renetta. Renetta, yeah. Yeah, tell us about it, Derek. You've, this is a labor of love. You've been working on it for a while. I have, yeah. yeah. This is a, the end of a 10 year journey so far. So Ten I'm years. kind of calling this just the beginning. <laughs> And the reason why is because when we first started showing people that we could do lighting over Cat5 wires, they're like, no. I mean, the first builders I talked to said, come back in three years. If you're still around, we'll consider it. Now, uh, I can offer a 12-year warranty without a problem because we've been around 12 years. Okay. So never buy a, a product from a company that is uh, not allowed longer than their warranty, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that adage, but it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about uh, what's special about this, how sure. it works. So, so the technology is relatively simple. What we do is instead of having the AC drivers, uh, you know, LED lights of course have a driver and then the light fixture. Mm -hmm. So we take the driver and we put that back here into the panel. Okay. So the wall panel is the serviceable piece. Okay. This is typically what fails in a LED light. So instead of having to go up into a two story ceiling for a nice, you know, good quality home. Right you can actually go back here if the light fails. And it'll okay. tell you that the light has failed because it's a little red light. <laughs> okay. And so this fixture, is this a proprietary fixture? No. Or? Okay, so tell me more about that. No, that's the big thing. So every, every time we talk to builders, they wanted to know, do I have to use your fixtures? Because that limits our selection. And I said, no, you can use any fixture you want. And we've got some great fixture partners already. Lotus LED lighting has 3,000 SKUs, all compatible, and they'll sell them with the SIB. Mm -hmm. WAC lighting, Aspire line, already right. ready to go. So you've got everything from a broad range. And we also sell kind of the bread and butter fixtures. Sure. And the coolest part about our fixtures is the price. Okay. Well, talk to me about, <laughs> about price and value, generally speaking, right? Is this, is mm -hmm. this a cost saver um, in, in net? Uh, the equipment and the installation time, et cetera, for, for builders on the lighting? Yeah, so think about what happened in the last year, right? Um, builders are getting quotes from electricians and they're like, no, I just want one house, not two. Mm -hmm. And the pro cost of copper has gone through the roof. So the Cat5 is actually a 60% reduction in copper. Okay. So even though you'll run a little bit more, let's say a 2,000 square foot house, and you've got about 2,000 feet of, of uh, Romex, yep. 1,200 feet is lighting and switches. Okay. So eliminate that whole thing, and now you're just down to these light, thin copper wires, but that's all you need for LED lights. Right. You don't, you know, most of the copper is wasted, unfortunately. Right. So it's a significant savings, and then that's one piece. So on the materials, but let's hmm. talk about the labor piece, right? Labor is about a wash, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna be very, I'm very pragmatic about this, very honest, and I think that you can tip a Cat5 and test it in about the same time that it takes to strip and put wire nuts on. Right. Let's call that a wash. Running Cat5s is easier, so it's a little bit of a gain there, and the best part is it's all cat, uh, class two wiring. Okay. Which means you can use any trade. So instead okay. of having to wait for an electrician to come back, you can just grab someone off and say, here, go to run so this. So the time's here. about the same, but the uh, labor cost, because there's no journeyman electrician's requirement to run that wire, um, could be substantially right. lower, lower and, right? And even the electricians like it too, because yeah. there's a lot of flexibility in the system. Uh -huh. And so people say, well, okay, so you made up all the, or the expense here. So I'm gonna give you some tier one numbers, just to give you an idea. So any of the larger builders here are buying in this volume, and we manufacture, we're all about volume. Uh, three bedroom home, 30 lights, 20 switches, AC-DC power supply that lasts 30 years, got a big warranty on that piece. Uh, everything except for the Cat5 wire, $1,800. And comparing to <laughs> what? Yeah. So, I mean, oh, compared to the AC world, I mean, with the copper price. So if you're not building tiny homes, the copper becomes significant. Okay. And it's enough to justify this. So it becomes almost a parity. And that's just the beginning. Think about it. Now you've got this incredibly smart infrastructure. Yeah. I mean, we communicate over these wires. When you plug in a light okay. or a switch, I mean, look at, you know, look at how easy the switches are, right? Right. So it's not just cost savings and kind of a relocation of some of the 
guts of the of the lighting units that themselves, but it's enabling a lot more connectivity and control. Yeah, so the, the first switches, smart switches we're making, so these are my dumb switches, I call them. They look yeah. just like a Decora switch. Yeah. The coolest part that some of the people from the show absolutely loved was top is always on, bottom is always off. Okay. Three ways, top is always on, bottom is always off. They yeah. hated that toggle thing. Oh, yeah. Um, but this also has color-centric lighting. So the human-centric lighting and the okay. circadian. Okay. And in order to do that, all you do, if you want to dim, first of all, you hold the bottom, raise, you hold the top. If you want to change the color, Hold the top and bottom two seconds. Okay. This is now cooler. This is okay. warmer. Okay. All so you're able to switch. program to the circadian rhythms on this stuff as well? Yes. Where's that resonant? Where's that smarts? That smarts is in these units. So, okay. so this system actually all plugs together okay. without tools. Okay. Right? So when you build this, uh -huh. you just install this thing, one plug that the electrician puts in. Yep. That goes to the DC power supply here. Yep. If you have solar panels, you can completely skip it with the battery, go straight into here, skip okay. the AC DC. Yeah. This has a display on it as a user interface. And then the power distribution modules, these things just snap right in place like that. Right. And when it makes the connection. Right. So talk to up. me talk to me about DC versus AC a little bit. Just give me <laughs> sure. just give me a 101 yeah. on it in terms of the benefits of DC versus AC. Yeah, Edison and Tesla, right? Okay. Everyone always brings up, you know, Tesla won, Edison lost, you guys can't do it. Yeah. Every device is DC, direct current. Everything is electronics now. Mm -hmm. And everywhere has that little AC DC brick. Okay. Caro has ceiling fans. There's about 200 models of ceiling fans and in the top of them, they have a little transformer. Okay. So we have a 48 volt DC to 24 volt DC transformer, the exact same size. Yep. You buy the Caro fan, you take out their, their transformer, and yep. you just put, plug ours in, yep. Cat5 to it. So DC, because everything is electronics and solid state, is, is really dominant, even though we see AC plugs all over the place. There's conversion going on in the plug or elsewhere to direct current. I mean, think and about are it. Are there other advantages of direct current in terms of the... Uh, loss of energy and transmission or anything like that? Yeah, people, I mean, I've been working with the Department of Energy for years, uh, mm -hmm. Lawrence Berkeley Labs. I just met with yeah. the California Energy Commissioner yeah. last week. And it was so funny because he says, you're commercializing this? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, we've sold, we sold almost $2 million of the crappy prototype, uh -huh. you know, and it's been operating for over 10 years in buildings. Yeah. Yeah. And the study that I got involved with, with Lawrence Berkeley Labs was to show how much better DC was than AC. Mm -hmm. But the trick is price, right? Because you can make anything better if you spend enough money on it. So if you want me to make a 99.9% .9 efficient driver, I can do that, but it's going to cost $500. Yeah. No one's going to spend that. Yep. So the trick is, you know, how do you get these driver cards down to a price that makes it, you know, attractive, especially yeah. to builders? Because let's yeah. say, you know, everyone's got a budget. Yeah. So sounds like a lot of engineering smarts has, have gone into this. The manufacturing feasibility testing has gone into it. Um, I want you to tell me a little bit about that, but tell me first a little bit more about you and your journey to this place and your expertise to have engineered such a novel approach. So I'm uh, 28 years old and, and this is all from this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the disinformation interview. No, I've, been, okay. I've been doing this for more than 28 years. Yeah, uh -huh. so I, I started out in building automation. So my okay. first job was running a big 50 building pharmaceutical campus, all the automation controls. Okay. From that experience as an owner operator, Right? I had trouble with the maintenance of systems. And that was part of the um, inspiration behind this. The fact that you can have a brand new technology sitting right next to uh, older pieces and it never becomes obsolete. That was the hardest part of this product to make and invent. Mm -hmm. And our core patent is around these modules and how these things can be replaceable, brand new technologies. And and it's so it's so adaptable that really we're a the most open platform, but that all came from my history. Uh -huh. uh, I also did integration work as a custom installer. Okay. So I've been commercial, I've been residential. Yeah. From each one of those things I learned, and that's probably where the gray hairs came from. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's 10 years of experience in here. And if anyone can find a brand new rabbit hole that I haven't gone down, okay. I welcome them to ask yeah. about it. Yeah. So tell me about response here at the event. You had a chance to present this to 
the high volume group earlier and have you had some meetings and getting getting some firsthand response? We had great meetings, yes, yes. I, I put all of my marketing eggs in your basket here. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Thank because, you. because what happened was, so, so I don't know if you know, but I've, I've been living in Shenzhen, the, the manufacturing capital of the world because of this. I needed to get this down to a price point that builders could accept it without budget being a problem. Mm -hmm. And during that process, um, you know, I, I realized that I could actually manufacture this at such a price point that it gets to production home builders. Yeah. I don't want to call them the cheapest, but yeah. they're the most cost conscious because their customers are trying to squeeze in the most value, right? Yep. So um, there's another product line, so there's multiple brands we'll release, but this one was actually the, the starter brand. But I got it to that price point thanks to the volume. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, you know, if I'm gonna have thousands of builders as customers and electricians, et cetera, it's actually easier for me to get a couple of them. Yep. And with that, we can actually launch the market. Yep. And of course, you know, you think about it, when some of these brands, um, they, can, they can rise up. I loved the next gen, for example. So the next gen building has the main home and your, you know, mother-in-law suite. And with this, for example, you can put it in and you can isolate. You can even charge your mother-in-law separate utilities if you oh, want. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Now, whether you do that or not is up to you. <laughs> but the point so is... Sub-metering <clears throat> capability. Yeah. So, so the point cool. is the product allows it. Exactly. Yeah. Neat. All right. Well, uh, how would a builder uh, find out more about Lumen Cash and Renata? And uh, what's the best way hmm. for them to work with you on that? So um, Renetta, R-E-N-E-T-A. -E okay. Yeah, it's like a R-N-A, okay. Renewable Net A. Okay. Uh, Renetta.lighting. Okay. Or they can go to LumenCash, mm -hmm. L-U-M-E-N-C-A-C-H-E dot mm -hmm. com. Both will go to the same place. Do the contact us. There's a great FAQ in the learn section. So if you go there, usually you're gonna have a lot of questions because this is new. And that's what I liked about the sessions that we had here with the builders is, you know, even though it's just 15 minutes with them, in the first five minutes, they get it. And then after that, it's kind of like a couple of rabbit holes. And then the last five minutes is, okay, how do we start? How do we pilot this? Very good. Well, thanks for uh, making your debut here. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. And I was really happy to help sponsor the session about the marketing too. That was a wonderful session. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.